Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. I've been looking forward to checking this out for a couple days since you guys told me of its existence. It says in the video this is the very first time that Floor sang Ghost Love scored a live audience. But I read some of the comments and uh, it's not actually. I think the first time she performed it live was in Seattle is what it says, assuming that's true. But this is the first time she did her golden note, the big note at the end. And so this is fan shot. Uh, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I don't always do the fan shot stuff, but I'm intrigued to hear her sing the golden note for the first time, of course. And so I'm going to do this video. I hope the quality is good, but we'll take it for what it is. And I think it's going to be an enjoyable experience being that is one of my favorite songs, probably, probably my favorite track that I've learned about since I started reacting to videos. I would be pretty confident in saying that. So actually, I, I would say that, yeah. So I did a bunch of these here. I did a ton of versions of the track and I didn't include this one because I wasn't aware of it. Happy to add more if we find others, but I think I've gone through a lot of them now. So hopefully there'll be more. Let's check this out.
enjoying this much more than I was uh, worried about not enjoying it. If that makes sense, because <laughs> I because it's fan shot. So I love the grunginess of it because it's going through what I presume is a telephone or something. But it has this very cool bass feel to it. Also, if you just noticed there, Empu was pay, playing uh, his solo on stage right. He never does that. Never ever. You always see him on stage left. So that's the first time I think I've ever seen that. So for what it's worth, there you go. I, uh, I'm also intrigued. Flora is singing it the same fashion that she has in all the versions I'm aware of. But she hasn't yet formulated the character. So up until this point, usually she's very stoic the way she sings it. Here you could see she was doing things with her hands in an attempt to draw in the viewer with, with, uh, with using her, her motion. So in the other versions, the ones we all see, she's kind of like this, you know, this figure, this standstill figure. And then it's after the intermission here that she sort of explodes. And so I'm enjoying seeing the creation of, of her uh, relation to the track, her character. <laughs>
it's interesting she didn't do the ah oh, ah oh, ah, oh, which would have been an easy thing to take because Taria had done that as well. Yet Flora's not doing it here. She does in the later versions. <laughs> So good. I'm so glad you guys shared that with me. Thank you so much. It must be a fantastic feeling for Tomas and the rest of the guys to hear someone like Floor perform it for the first time and be like, in Tomas's case, that's why I wrote this. It's to hear that. That was it. They had lost that with Annette. And, and I'm not going to bag on Annette. I just don't think she was the right position for this band. She, she was the wrong person for the job, right? So I think to have Floor here must be a wonderful point of elation for these guys to be like, we are coming back with a vengeance right now because she's amazing. The way she sings it is interesting in that it's very similar. She didn't really change the fashion, but again, the character evolved. You also notice that's her personal wardrobe. It's a pretty safe assumption. And I love the wardrobe that she ends up wearing uh, throughout the rest of the course of her time with this band. So uh, it's this wonderful evolution point. Very well shot, by the way. Pretty good job, man. Whoever did this, you did a good job. The sound quality is cool. And uh, for a fan shot video, it's so much better than I thought it was going to be. I enjoyed that so, so very much. Uh, I hope you guys did too and you see the same things I saw. If you see other things or you don't agree with me, please say so in the comments and whatnot. But it's fun to further explore a track that uh, I hold dear, I think it's fair to say. It's good even, you know, Impu, oh my God, he's on stage, right? Oh, big deal. <laughs> but, but they are, there's these little changes. And I wonder, and maybe that's why I'm so into it, is as these little changes occur, does it, uh, change to the evolution of the performer performing the track and I would assume it has to so guys thank you so much I appreciate all of you listening to so many versions of this track with me I hope some of you enjoy it as much as I do I look forward to seeing you all on the next one <laughs> hey the podcast is over what are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.